All right, if you missed uh, yesterday's show with my weather quiz question, kind of reviewing July, here's the data for you. Uh, temperature average in La Crosse was 77.1. The July average is 73.7, so almost 3.5 degrees above average. And uh, just outside the top 10 uh, warmest Julys on record. So it was uh, much warmer than average. In fact, the highest temperature was 97 on the 19th. That was the day the heat index climbed as high as 117 here in La Crosse. The lowest temperature was on the last day of the month with a morning low of 54 degrees. In terms of rainfall, it was a wet month, 6.55 uh, inches. Average is 4.26. That is 2.29 inches above average. Now, the greatest one day total was just over two inches on the 18th, but it was rather dry uh, end of the month. Over the last 11 days of the month, only 0.13 inches of rain had fallen out of the La Crosse airport. So uh, you may notice that with your lawns and your gardens getting a little dry for a change. Uh, we haven't said that much as wet as it's been the last uh, couple of years in the upper Midwest. Time lapse from yesterday, another beautiful day with lots of sunshine, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds scattered about. Nice little sunset last evening uh, with some of those clouds moving through as well. Temperatures topping out from the upper 70s to mid 80s, including 85 here in La Crosse. 82 is the high in Eau Claire, 83 in Black River Falls, 82 at Volk Field, 84 in Prairie du Chien, and some 79s in Barroqua Decora and in Preston. This morning, again, we're starting with some patchy fog. In fact, right here in downtown La Crosse, we're starting to see some fog. Uh, 64 degrees, dew point at 60, pressure holding steady, and the Mississippi falling down to 8.07 feet. And the forecast takes it below 7 feet next week, so that uh, river level continues to drop. Uh, current temperatures, 64 in La Crosse, but uh, our traditional cooler spots are in the low to mid 50s, like Bulkfield, Sparta, and Black River Falls. Most spots, though, in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Dew points still pretty comfortable, 50 to about 61 degrees, so most in that pleasant to comfortable range, but uh, today I think dew points will climb into the 60s, so it'll start to feel a little bit more humid than the past several days when the air has been so comfortable and dry. Uh, winds are calmer light, and that's why we're seeing the uh, areas of fog scattered about, especially in the valleys, uh, impacting visibility in Prairie du Chien, Boscobel, up towards Volk Field and Black River Falls, even Eau Claire, and as you saw here in downtown La Crosse, seeing some patchy fog as well. Otherwise, high pressure still in control, but it's going to start to shift to the east and eventually allow these weak disturbances and frontal boundaries moving in from the north and west, and they will spark at least slight chances for rain, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. Not today, though. Dry with a mix of sun and clouds. Dry tonight as well with a partly cloudy sky. And then tomorrow, notice how we do start to see some green crop up, especially in the afternoon and evening. That's when the best chances will be for a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Today, though, a mix of sun and clouds, a little bit more humid. 87 for the high. Tonight, partly cloudy, some patchy fog possible late with light winds, lows near 65. Back to 87 tomorrow. Again, just a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening. It's only about a 3 in 10 chance, so I don't think everybody's going to see rain. Uh, even a smaller chance of rain Sunday, 88. Staying kind of humid and warm through Monday with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. And just small rain chances next Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Wednesday and Friday looking primarily dry and uh, seasonable high temperatures in the lower to middle 80s.